hi and welcome in this video we're going to be doing a opal rainbow ombre we're going to be using chunky opal on top and then a rainbow gradient ombre on the bottom this is a really beautiful tumbler very easy to recreate so i started with my prepped and painted 22 ounce tumbler from the steel magnolia and i'm using a chip brush to apply my mod podge the smoothest that i can i really like chip brushes for mod podge because i can apply a generous coat of mod podge that way i have a longer working time as we know um, mod podge dries fast so i'm gonna start with a fine opal for my first coat you never want to do two coats of chunky because that's just going to be harder to work with so on the first coat as you can see i'm using my fine and then i am going down to the opal gradient on the bottom so i kind of tilt it a little bit um, towards the opal and i just tap on my jar to slowly release each color glitter um, if it doesn't come out exactly how you want to um, we're still going to be doing a second coat where we can tweak it a little bit and make it look better uh, the purple is actually the hardest for me i don't know why anytime you want to do an ombre i would also recommend using some similar glitters so for this cup all of the glitters are iridescent which means that they are see-through if i were to use a metallic glitter that would be more difficult to create an ombre with you want your cup to look um nice so you know that helps with ombres so here i brushed off excess which i did not show before starting to apply my mod podge for my second coat so i'm applying mod podge to the opal glitter first so that i do not drag down the rainbow colors to the opal i don't want it to look muddy so this is just one of the tricks that i use when i am doing the second coat i don't seal anything um I just feel like it's faster this way and then i started with the yellow on the bottom because that's the lightest color the one that can get the most contaminated and then i'm moving my way towards the other colors slowly as well brushing off excess really helps also prevent contamination uh, this is an often overlooked step it's really important to brush off excess once the glitter coat is dry and you will prevent so many problems by doing this Now that I have my second coat smoothly applied, now I'm going to apply my chunky opal glitter. Again, we don't want to do two coats of chunky because that makes it harder to work with. So I started off by applying the icy opal to the rim of the cup and then I, I tilt the cup and slowly pour to create that uh, falling ombre effect. When you are doing an ombre with chunky glitter, I recommend you do the chunky glitter first. That's going to really help with the ombre. And then speeding up the second coat here because you already saw me do it on the first coat, I'm doing it the exact same way. After that second coat of glitter, I wait two hours so my glitter can fully dry. This is very important. And then I am using a big chip brush to brush off excess glitter. Again, this is a very important step. After each coat of glitter that you do, this will help us um, prevent contamination and glitters mixing together. So I am actually, you know, being very rough with my brush. I'm trying to remove as much excess glitter as I can. Once that excess glitter is removed, I'm using quick coat sealer from counterculture diy with a smaller chip brush and just brushing it onto my chunky glitter quick coat works as a sealer just like a clear spray does but quick coat is able to lay the chunky glitter flat which um, a clear spray paint will, would not be able to do. Um, Quick Coat Sealer has a lot of benefits to it, not only laying chunky glitter flat, but preventing bubbles, preventing repelling. It helps us use less epoxy and do less coats. It also helps us with decals. You can use it on top of your decals to prevent the decals from lifting when you epoxy your tumblers. So highly recommend this product. There's many uses to it, and it's just a lifesaver for several problems that come up during the tumbler process. 
You really don't need a lot. I probably used about 5 ml or less on this cup. Once you have it applied, you do have to wait an hour for it to dry. If you do not let this fully dry, it will cause uh, your epoxy to look super cloudy and it will ruin your cup. So it's really important for you to let this fully dry before moving on to the epoxy. So again, one hour dry time. Because I used quick coat sealer, um, I am only going to have to do two coats before sanding. If you do not use quick coat or lay your chunky flat in another way, you might have to do three or four coats before you're able to get that smoothness on your cup. So I'm using medium viscosity epoxy here um, and this is how I apply the epoxy. I start on the opal first again. So as you saw, I applied the epoxy all around on the opal first and then moved down to the rainbow area. This is another way I prevent contamination on my tumbler. Um, so I'm going to do two coats the same way as you see me doing here and then we're going to sand and apply our, um, our decal. After I get my epoxy on my tumbler, after every single epoxy layer, I torch my tumbler. This prevents, this eliminates micro bubbles on my tumbler and I feel like it also helps smoothen out and, um, level out all of the epoxy. After sanding and after two coats of epoxy, I am going to apply my decals. So I'm using a temporary tattoo that I got from Amazon and I'm going to apply it on my tumbler. It's very easy. I personally am not a fan of water slides or anything like that. So this is just an easier way for me. So I start by wetting the tumbler. I feel like this helps with the application. And then I remove the clear, um, the clear, protect up from the tattoo and lay it face down on the area that I want the tumbler to go. I make sure that it's completely flat on the tumbler and then I start to wet it with a sponge. So make sure that it's completely flat. There's no like lifts in the middle or something because that can cause the tattoo to not be applied properly. So I just kind of smoothen it out with my hand. You really need, you really just leave it for like about 30 seconds and then you can start to peel it off. Super easy. After you've applied your tattoo, you I usually let it just dry fully and then it's very important for you to seal this with a clear spray paint or even quick coat sealer that you saw me use previously uh, this is very important if you do not seal this tattoo you're gonna have 10 billion problems when you epoxy your final coat so this is what it looks like pretty dull right now because of the sanding but um, after sealing here is the final coat I hope you enjoyed this video let me know of any questions Follow us on socials and subscribe. See you soon.